Mr. Roberts. What am I doing here? A pertinent question, Mr. Roberts, which we will discuss in due course. But for now, let us focus on the task at hand. What are you talking about? What am I doing here? You are here to make a choice, Mr. Roberts. That is all. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are or where I am. I was on my way to and work. And now you're here. Your choice, Mr. Roberts, is a simple one. Should you make the right choice, well then, you will leave here with more than you could possibly imagine. What choice? What are you talking about? Mr. Roberts, as you can see, in front of you there is a button. Should you choose to push that button, someone, somewhere in the world, will die. What kind of sick joke is you this? You didn't let me finish, Mr. Roberts. Also, should you choose to push that button, I will give you ten million dollars. It's all here in this briefcase. This is ridiculous. I'm leaving. You'll find the door is locked. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Jeffrey Roberts of 14 Brennan Court. Trouble sleeping, job wavering, debts mounting. Who the hell do you think you are? A very powerful man, Mr. Roberts. A man who could change your life <laughs> for the small cost of someone else's. My God. <laughs> You should have turned to him when you still had the chance. This can't be real. Oh, I assure you, it is very real. Prove it. Well then, let's have a look, shall we? Ten million dollars. Cash. Just think what that sort of money can achieve. What happens if I don't push the button? Then I will give you this key to the door and you will never see me or the ten million dollars again. How do I know if I push this button that it won't just kill me? Technically it could, but the odds are 7.6 billion to one. Those are pretty good odds. Chances are it will be someone else. I mean, people die all the time, right? Precisely. I mean, how many people have died in car accidents this year? Car accidents? Let me think. 56,000 242, 243, 244, 200 and... Oh, but I digress. You were saying something about accidents. They happen all the time. Yeah, you know, the wrong place, wrong time. Snap, just like that, your time is up. Eventually, Mr. Roberts, Everyone's time is up, including yours. All right, if, if I push this button, how will they die? It will be an accident of some sort. How can I trust you? I am trying to help you. Yeah, come on. What's all this really about? What's in this for you? Well, nothing. Directly. You see, I am trying to create a world devoid of kindness, selflessness, mercy. These are all euphemisms for weakness. 
Mr. Roberts. I hold up the animal world, Mr. Roberts. The beasts of the field show no mercy. They don't die of old age on the Serengeti, Mr. Roberts. The only true beauty is in self-preservation. You're evil. Morality. Mortality, your musings are becoming tiresome, Mr. Roberts. I am considering withdrawing my offer. Uh, come on. You have 30 seconds. If you have not pushed the button by then, well, then you can leave here as penniless as when you came in. I need more time to think. You've had enough time! What if it's a little girl or something? <laughs> totally irrelevant. I mean, I can't... One less person in an already overpopulated world, Mr. Roberts. One person? Just... One. Nobody would find out? Not a soul. Decide now. Think of your family. Think of the money. Push it. Push it. Push it! This... This was all a trick, wasn't it? Not at all, Mr. Roberts. Here. Take your money. Take what is owed to you, Mr. Roberts. I must tell you one more thing, Mr. Roberts. You are already dead. <laughs> No. No, that's impossible. Think of it, Mr. Roberts. One second you were driving, and the next second you were here. No. No. A rather nasty car accident, I'm afraid. You see, Mr. Roberts, since the beginning of time, when man was first capable of possessing a soul, it has been my job to tempt him with whatever mortal vice would encourage him to take the life of another. The evil is saved. The good can be condemned for their transgressions. Think of me as God's victor. What's going to happen to me? You, Mr. Roberts, are going to hell. Endless, boundless, nothing. What about my family? You had the key to salvation. You chose condemnation. No, wait, please. Goodbye, Mr. Roberts. Oh, and here, please. Take what is owed to you. You are allowed to keep that. Please tell me. Who did I just kill? Oh. I wouldn't worry about that, Mr. Roberts. I will be seeing them next. <laughs> <laughs>